This is part 51 of AngularCRUD tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss query string parameters in Angular. Creating and reading query string parameters is somewhat similar to creating and reading optional route parameters. We discussed optional route parameters in parts 43 and 44 of this video series. Notice in this URL, we have two query string parameters, search term and test param. Query string parameters in the URL start with a question mark and if we have multiple query string parameters, they are separated using an ampersand. Query parameters are usually used when you want the parameters on the route to be optional and when you want to retain those parameters across multiple routes. Just like optional route parameters, query parameters are also not part of the route configuration and therefore they are not used in route pattern matching. Now let's understand query string parameters with an example. At the moment, we are on the list route. Let's search for a specific employee. Notice in our filtered list, at the moment we only have one employee and that is John. When we click on John's panel right here, it takes us to John's details. And at this point, when we click this button back to lists, it takes us to the list route. But notice we have lost our search term and the filtered list is also lost. What we want to be able to do is when we come back to the list, we want to retain that search term and the filtered list. There are several ways to do this. One way is by using query string parameters. At the moment, we are on the view template of our list employees component. And whenever we click on any of these panels, this is the method that is called on click. And to this method, we are passing the ID of the respective employee. And we have this on click method within our component class right here. So when we click on an employee panel, we are navigating the user to the employee's route, passing it the employee ID. Now what we want to do is pass the search term also in the URL as a query string parameter. So our query string parameter should look like this. So query string parameters start with a question mark and then the name of our query string parameter here is search term and the value for that is whatever search term that we have typed into this search by name search text box. To pass query string parameters in code, we pass a second parameter to the navigate method and that second parameter is an object. The key for this object is query params and the value is another object. This object contains our query string parameter key value pairs. You can have as many query string parameters as you want. One of the query string parameters that we want is search term. So the key here is search term. And the value for this is going to come from the search term property that we have in our component class. Now remember, this is the property to which our search by name text box is binding to. Notice here we are using two-way data binding. So the value that we have in that property, we want to pass it as the value for our query string parameter. Let's include another query string parameter. I'm going to name it test param. And I'm going to hard code the value for this test value. So this is how we pass query string parameters in code. But what if we want to pass them in HTML? In HTML, we use the query params directive. Notice in this example right here, we are binding the query params directive to an object and this object contains the query string parameter key value pairs and the resulting URL will look like this. Now let's quickly test this change that we have just made. So on the list route, let's search for John and when we click on John employee panel, we go to John details and notice in the URL, we have both our query string parameters, search term and test param. At this point, when we click this button back to list, notice on the list route in the URL, we have lost our query string parameters. That's because by default, query string parameters are not retained between different routes. To be able to retain them, we have to explicitly configure. And the way we do that is by using query params handling directive. So in our case, when we navigate from employee details component to the list route, we want to be able to retain the query string parameters. So let's use this query params handling directive. So within the view template of our employee details component, here is the HTML of that back to list button. So in addition to this router link directive, let's also use query params handling directive. 
Now the value for this directive can either be preserve or merge. We'll discuss the difference between the two in just a bit. For now, let's use preserve. Now let's do another search. Navigate to employee details. In the URL, we have our query string parameters. At this point, when we go back to the employee list, notice now our query string parameters are retained as expected. Now let's understand what merge is going to do. So let's change preserve to merge. Now what this is going to do is if we have any new query string parameter here that we are adding when we are navigating to the list route, that new query string parameter will be merged with the already existing query string parameters. Now to add a new query string parameter in the HTML, we use query params directive and bind this to an object and this object is going to contain the key for our new query string parameter. Let's name it new param and then a value for it and let's set the value as new value. Now let's search for another employee. Navigate to John's details. Notice in the URL we have search term and test param. Those are the two already existing query string parameters and now when we click this back to list button, we will be redirected to the list route. But then here we are also adding a new query string parameter, new param. So this parameter will be merged with the already existing query string parameters, search term and test param. So notice when I click the button in the URL, in addition to the existing query string parameters, we also have our new param merged. Now, if we have set this query params handling directive to preserve instead of merge, then this new query string parameter that we are adding here will not be merged with the existing query string parameters. We will only have the existing query string parameters preserved, but this new query param will be lost when we navigate back to the list route. Now, if you want to preserve query string parameters in code, we pass an object as a second parameter to the Angular Router's Navigate method. The key within that object is query params handling and the value can either be preserve or merge depending on your project requirements. Now let's search for John again. Navigate to his details. In the URL we have those two query string parameters. Notice here we have this button view next employee. When we click this button it takes us to the next employee and when that happens we will lose these query string parameters in the URL. That's because we have not configured this button to retain the query string parameters. So notice when I click the button, we have lost the query string parameters. We have this button within our employee details component right here. When we click this button, this is the method that is called. We have this method in our component class right here. When we click this button, we are navigating to the next employee. Now what we want to do is retain the query string parameters. So for that, to the navigate method, we are passing an object as a second parameter and the key for this object is going to be query params handling and the value for that can be either preserve or merge. Let's set this to preserve. Now let's go back to the list route, search for an employee, navigate to his details. We have the query string parameters in the URL. At this point, notice when I click the button, we retain the query string parameters as expected. Query params handling directive is introduced in Angular 4. If you're using Angular 2, you wouldn't have query params handling directive. Instead, you will have to use preserve query params directive. Preserve query params directive is deprecated since Angular 4. So if you're using Angular 4 or later versions, then use query params handling directive. If you're using Angular 2, then your only choice is to use preserve query params directive. In our project, we're using Angular 5. So if we type query here, notice I see preserve query params. So if we go to the definition on this property, Notice it is deprecated since Angular version 4. So far, we have only discussed how to pass query string parameters and retain them across multiple routes. We have not discussed how to read query string parameter values. When we search for an employee and navigate to his details, we are passing the search term as a query string parameter. But when we go back to the list, we are not reading that query string parameter value. 
We are not populating the search by name text box and we are also not filtering this list. We'll discuss how to do all these in our next session. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.